Our HTTP underscore proxy, HTTPS underscore proxy and no underscore proxy environment variable standard. It seems that a lot of programs are designed to read these environment variables to decide what proxy to go through in order to connect to a resource on the internet. Those programs may also have their own, individual proxy settings, but if those are not set, they'll happily use these environment variables. HTTP underscore proxy HTTPS underscore proxy No underscore proxy I just want to know Are these environment variables standard? Is there a written specification, maybe by the OS manufacturers, that recommends the use of these environment variables? I agree with Bilda's statement that this is more a convention than a standard. I don't know the origin of these variables but in case of HTTP or Nix many conventions seem to originate from behavior of libcurl HTTP library and curl command line program. At this URL there's description of environment variables related to using HTTP proxy which libcurl slash curl understands. Environment variables Curl reads and understands the following environment variables. HTTP underscore proxy, HTTPS underscore proxy, FTP underscore proxy. They should be set for protocol specific proxies. General proxy should be set with all underscore proxy. A comma separated list of host names that shouldn't go through any proxy is set in only an asterisk matches all hosts no underscore proxy. If the host name matches one of these strings, or the host is within the domain of one of these strings, transactions with that node will not be proxied. Please notice that HTTP underscore proxy is spelled lowercase as the only one among these variables. Some libraries slash programs look for lowercase names of these variables whereas others look for uppercase names. To be safe one should define both lowercase and uppercase versions of each variable. Another issue is that cited description of how host names are matched against no underscore proxy is not precise and does not answer the following questions. Should values be fully qualified domain names, FQDN, thus ending with a dot like, foo.example.com dot, or not? Should foo.example.com match only this one domain or should it also match any subdomain like, bar.foo.example.com? If the latter then should it also match any subdomain and any subdomain like, bar.baz.foo.example.com? Is .foo.example.com dot at the beginning allowed and if so then what should it match? Is asterisk allowed as part of value dot example.com example.com and if so then how is it treated? Lack of formal specification leads to confusion and bugs. Here one has to mention LibProxy library which aims to provide correct and consistent support for proxy configuration. From project's homepage, LibProxy exists to answer the question, given a network resource, how do I reach it? It handles all the details, enabling you to get back to programming. Further reading. Issue I raised against Cole, please document syntax and semantics of no underscore proxy environment variable. Python's issue, erlib, no underscore proxy variable values with leading dot not properly handled, and related so question, Python the 2nd of July 2013, does not respect no underscore proxy and makes erlib 2 dot erl open error, with tunnel connection failed, 403 forbidden.
This is more a convention than a standard. It is likely supported by one or more protocol handler libraries which actually make the connections. Java uses similar properties in its protocol libraries. Understanding and using common conventions makes development much simpler. It also helps implement the principle of least surprise and make programs more likely to just work. There is no real standard. Different tools interpret these variables similarly but subtly differently. For example, the case of the recognized environment variables and the case precedence varies between tools like curl and j in languages like Ruby, Python and Go. This table is taken from the excellent article we need to talk. Can we standardize no underscore proxy? For more details, particularly about the no underscore proxy variable, and some history look at the mentioned complete article.